talking. Come on, Tony. Let's move it, kid. The meat is running. And Clueless starts at 8.30. Well, I'm sorry, Sugar, but I will buy no eyeliner pencil before it's time. It wasn't the eyeliner that took the time, Ashley. It was the maroon handbag gown and shoes that you simply had to have to go with it. What are you, colorblind? They're not maroon. They're off maroon. Careful with the delicate merchandise. Inflatable pool raft? Let me guess. Impulse buy? Huh? It matches the color of my bikini. Enough! Okay. We've already missed the first act of chips, but if we hurry, we can catch the second. I hear Ponch makes an amazing rescue through a ring of fire. It's not that amazing, trust me. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Up yet? I tried, but he's so stubborn. <sighs> Don't take it too seriously, Cass. Max is just blowing off steam. Don't worry. You'll get over it. Puts the egg back in swaggy. Table for two. Uh, reservation for Williams. My parents are still parking the car. Yeah, and there's an extra bucket for you if you get us a table by the kitchen, Bucko. Hey! Oh, I loved you and Little Mermaid, dude. Oh, this is perfect. My pipe. Look. To me, somehow you convinced my parents that you are fit to eat in public, but I know better. Please, don't embarrass me. Denise, when have I ever embarrassed you, huh? Would you like that alphabetically, chronologically, or in order of severity? Well, come on. Everybody deserves a chance, right? Like, even me. Okay, as long as you don't do things like that in front of my mouth. Yeah. Hey, look who showed up. Denise, you'll never guess what we ran into on the way in. Who, Naughty Spice? Not exactly. <gasps> Hello. Hello. Dean Harrison, this is our daughter, Denise, and her friend, James Farrell. Jimmy and Denise, this is Marvin Harrison, Associate Dean of Harvard University. Pleasure. Nice to meet you, Denise, Jimmy. Jimmy, don't mess this up when he's the Dean of Harvard. All right, Denise, you can totally count on me, all right? Yes. How do you do, your deanship? Nice going, funny guy. This traffic jam you caused is worse than when Pamela Anderson Lee shot her aerobics video in Times Square. You fall into one open manhole in Midtown Manhattan, and all of a sudden you're a road hazard, right? Well, thanks to you, we've missed the second act of <laughs> Chips, the musical. But onward we shall press. I hear that Eric Estrada signs autographs at the stage door after every show. Hey, 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 guys, guys. Hold on a sec. <sighs> my wallet. <laughs> Must have fallen out of my pocket in that sewer back there. I, I gotta go back. No, 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 no. Sorry. No, no, no. I'm yeah. not about to miss my last chance to see Eric Estrada. We can come back for your wallet later. No, 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 no. I had eight bucks in that wallet, okay? You're not let going me out. Let me out. Hey! 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 I am not insured for this. I am not leaving New York without seeing Eric Estrada. I'm not leaving my wallet in a hole full of rats. And I am not driving you people one inch farther. What? Where are you going? Well, you can't just go! Watch me! You can't just leave us! Where are you going? I should have listened to you, Ma. I could have become a dental assistant. So, Denise, what's it like going to school on a ship? Well, Breaker High provides countless opportunities to learn about other cultures and learn their native traditions. Oh, for example, in Greece, I learned to dance the cirtos. Oh, well, yeah, that must have been after we were naked on the beach. I was not naked. Oh, yeah, right. That was me and Sean that were naked. I'm sorry. You must spend all your time with that Greek dude. Um, what was his name again? Milos. Greek dude. He was a very nice Greek student. He taught me a lot about Greek rituals. Oh, yeah. I mean, like that party he had? That was the most rockin' ritual we've had yet, you know? Jimmy, can we please change the subject? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> oh, and I found Milan very interesting. The architecture was so 
so appealing. No, oh, oh, not as appealing as that male model at that fashion show. I heard they were appealing you off his leg. <laughs> 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 oh man! And then did you, then did you hear about that duck? Did she tell you about that? Just remember, boy, <sighs> you know, fortunately, that isn't the least bit annoying. Why isn't Max back here? Well, he probably went to the Guggenheim. Anyways, I thought you were mad at him. I was. I mean, I am. I mean, I. Oh. Look, give it up, Cass. You and Max will get back together. You guys, like, always do. You really think so? Well, I hope so. Otherwise, I'm not going to graduate. No, seriously, then, then there was this time around this cheese factory and Denise fell into a fatty yogurt. Actually, Jimmy, that was you. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Mmm, oh. yogurt. Your school sounds very interesting. Certainly gives us something to talk about this weekend. Hmm. Look, Dean Harrison, I thank you very much for saying that, but I doubt after all you've heard today, I stand much of a chance of getting into Harvard. Denise, may I be frank? Now, don't get me wrong. Academic achievement is extremely important, but sometimes our most educational experiences happen in the least likely places, sometimes even in a vat of yogurt. Huh. Not often, though. I can't believe I missed my idol, Eric Estrada. Oh, the pain. You want to talk pain, huh? Try getting an elbow in the eye sometime, huh? I told you it was an accident. Sorry. Dad, I was sorry. Hey, I said I'm moving. I'm good and ready. If you want to get somewhere, you can walk. Listen, I'm not a real cop. I played one on television. I'm Eric Estrada from the hit series Chips, now major Broadway musical. Could I get some help here? Look, buddy, I didn't just get off the boat this morning. Well, actually, I did, but, um, yeah, anyways, it doesn't mean that I don't know when I'm having my chain yanked. No, but I'm, I'm really Eric Estrada. Look, I'll show you. I saw the two suspects <gasps> trembling inside that two-tone gremlin. Nice try, creep, but my friend back there is one of Eric Estrada's biggest fans, and you know what? You're lucky he didn't hear you. Thanks for your lunch. Thank you, Jimmy. Oh. I look forward to reading your applications, Denise. Really? Certainly, considering the wide diversity of cultural experiences Breaker High provides you, not to mention the variety of people you have the opportunity to interact with. It's me. Oh, and Jimmy. Yeah. Let me put you in contact with a friend of mine in admissions. What, at Harvard? Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Cambridge, Clown College, finest institution of his type. Well, only institution of his type. With your comic timing, you are a natural. Oh, man, thank you, sir. I'm honored. Hey, Lord. Jimmy. Yeah. I can't believe I'm saying this, but thank you. Oh, uh, hey, I'm all day to thank me. What are you doing? Oh, uh, nothing personal, but we were kind of planning on having a family get together. Oh, oh, all right, I get it. You guys want, like, family time, right? Okay, that's totally cool. Anyway, hey, Dino! Dino, what are you doing, man? Sean, I feel, like, completely transformed or something. No, actually, to me, I gotta be honest, okay? It wasn't the best day. I mean, you know, I was supposed to be Mr. Big Apple. Instead, I ended up being Mr. Big Geek, Mr. Big Weenie. You can stop me any time. You are Mr. Big Apple to me, Sean. Really? Sure. I mean, I only really felt safe in New York City because you were there with me. Yeah, hey. I mean, hey, we're talking here! Touch me. <laughs> so close, yet so far away. For one brief moment, my life actually had meaning. Oh, get over it. By the way, this is for you. Oh, the cast album of Chips! I don't know what to say. I'm getting all busy here. Well, don't get too misty. It's free gift to purchase. Uh, hey, um, was Max Bowder at the museum with you guys? Didn't see him. Max. All stuff's gone. You don't think that he would? <clears throat> I need a one-way ticket to Portland, Oregon. 